Hello everyone and welcome to Smugglers 5. Uh, Smugglers is one of my favorite series and this is the latest and greatest. Um, it's all pretty much the same game but they just keep upgrading it and that's why we have Smugglers 5 here now. I remember I used to play Smugglers 3 and I loved it so let's get right into it. I'm going to start by trying out the tutorial to see if there's anything really new with it. So, this is where we pick our factions. Now, in the Smuggler's Universe, there's four major factions essentially at war with each other for domination of the known galaxy. Um, the factions are, uh, we've got the Federation, which is sort of the official faction, so they're the, you know, they're usually the, the most high technology, uh, essentially the toughest um, faction there is. Uh, so the Federation is, is sort of an easy difficulty if you choose to play that. Uh, the Outer Rim Alliance is not too different, it's just a much, I guess, poorer version of the Federation, so uh, they're pretty, uh, hmm, uh, they're, they're quite a bit harder to play. Uh, the Coalition is a big group of traders, and they're all about money, so they were usually, honestly, everyone except for the Federation was pretty difficult. Uh, Coalition is a lot more focused on trading, and, and, you know, typically that's the focus of the Coalition missions, is more so uh, peaceful trading type missions, but they still have lots of uh, violence as well. And the Syndicate, which is essentially an evil pirate organization, um, but still sort of uh, an official one. Not So not actually pirates, it's an official uh, um, uh, it's an official group organization. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I mean if you can see, they, they also have, they tend to have their own uh, quotes and whatnot. Uh, and everything about the different factions sort of uh, finds a different group historically to connect with. So um, the Outer Rim Alliance uh, tends to focus a lot on you know the War of Independence and that sort of thing in the States. Uh, the Coalition, uh, you'll notice, seems to be sort of French, but uh, sort of a European Union type thing. And the Syndicate tends to focus on Asian... Uh, type samurai type things that sort of honor bound culture so uh, anyways let's move on let's pick the uh, I guess the Federation let's pick the Federation and keep things nice and easy for my first playthrough here okay and I get to pick my character now they've they've got a bunch of new portraits which is kind of nice because it used to be just uh, just these two portraits and now they uh, well, they have a bunch of ones I like this this one this one looks good looks a little bit sunburnt but that's okay, I imagine if you're flying too close to suns all the time, that's what happens. So, a Ramazon. Okay, Smugglers 4 offers many different starting professions to choose from. Don't worry though, this early choice will just determine your starting settings. For the purpose of this tutorial, please select the Bounty Hunter profession. Okay, cool, and you can see here that they have a bunch of different professions. Now, this yeah, wasn't in Smugglers 3, so... Uh, this is some new stuff going on here. Uh, there's combat abilities and non-combat abilities. So it looks like they've got uh, sort of an, and from what I understand, there's a there's sort of a tiered uh, skill thing. And it looks like these are the trading professions, the fleet trader and the free trader. Uh, the fleet officer and the bounty hunter are more violent, and smuggler and pirate are the illegal professions. So we're going to go with bounty hunter for now. And here we go. What do we got? Whoop. There we go. A little bit of a problem there, but that's okay. Now, let's see if I can't get... There we go. Welcome to Smugglers 5. You start off as an unknown pilot with a small spaceship. Acquire enough credits to buy a bigger ship with jump engines in order to explore the universe. Sweet. This is the main screen of the game. Here you will be able to travel to different planets or star systems, land on planets, trade, accept missions, or plunder other ships. First we start with something easy. Trading. How to continue. Click on the trade icon displayed on the control panel at the bottom. Okay, so this is the trade icon. Oh, here we go. Good. On the window that has popped up, you can buy or sell goods. Click on the different goods to select them. Choose a quantity and click on buy. Alternatively, you can fill your whole cargo bay automatically by selecting a good and clicking on buy all. Okay, at least one unit of supplies. So we go to supplies. Um, I guess we will buy all. Boom. Okay, we just got 30 supplies, so our cargo bay holds up to 30 goods. 
Uh, you can see the prohibited goods at the bottom. That's They tend to make an incredible amount of money, but that is smuggling and illegal, and you can get flagged, and then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, could be a good way to try playing the game. Well done, you brought your first cargo. Now you have to find a location where you can sell it for profit. As long as you have no Corvette, you cannot leave this star system. So we need to find a planet with a higher price for your selected cargo. We have marked the closest location. Double click it to start traveling. Okay, so we actually started in... Uh... Oh, <laughs> look at that. We're going to go to the moon. We started on Earth. So that was the travel screen you saw there. Now we're at the moon. Now you are just one step away from making your first profit. Just click on the sell all and see the cash flowing in. So we're going to come here. Oh, and if you remember correctly, we bought it at 50 per unit, and now we are selling it at 150. You receive some experience points. The more you have, the more likely you will be promoted. When you sell goods in the future, you will still receive experience points, but you only receive this information once per game. Okay, cool. So... We made some money. We have 13,000 uh, 13, credits. Now it's time for some action. Let's accept a combat mission. All professions are able to fulfill missions as long as they are part of a fleet. Awesome. So this is the mission screen. Here you can see the missions available in this system. In the beginning you can only accept three different kinds of missions, but later many more will become available. We wanted to have some action, so choose the search and destroy mission at the left bottom part of the screen. Uh, search and destroy at the left bottom part of the screen. Okay, I'm assuming he meant this one, he or she, <laughs> the narrator. Uh, several trader ships have, let's read this, several trader ships have mysteriously disappeared around these coordinates lately. Please investigate the situation. If you encounter any hostiles, engage and neutralize them. Expected resistance is a pirate black widow. Location near the sun. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Okay. We have accepted the mission. Now, you have accepted your first mission. During the game, you can get more information about the current mission by clicking on the mission icon again. This icon is multifunctional. If you have a mission, it will bring up a mission status report. If not, it opens the mission selection screen. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, there you go. So it says search and destroy, it's got all the information, good stuff. In this mission you have to intercept a pirate vessel near the local sun. The mission target is displayed by a yellow target lock. To fly to this location and fulfill this mission, you have to double click on the target lock. Okay, here we go. You have encountered a hostile Black Widow. It is your mission to engage. Okay. This is a space combat screen. At the left part of the screen, you can see your own ship, and on the other side, the hostile vessel. You have to destroy the enemy vessel in order to win this mission. To do this, you should first fire your missiles. This will force the enemy to try to intercept them and suppress the fire. Okay, now, I kind of remember combat in the game. Um, basically, yeah, firing your miss missiles was usually the first thing you would do. It was, uh, it was always a, a one-time type of thing, but... Uh, but the thing was, if a missile hit, it would be usually quite a lot of damage, so you'd be trying to intercept the missiles, and interception works based on some equipment on your ship, and, uh, and you know, they had a, say, 50% chance or 70% chance, so your opponent has that too, and that would affect um, how that worked. Oh, look at this, that's kind of cool, you can, uh, you can view the details of your opponent. Wow, it is really detailed compared to what it used to be. And they have a holy cow, this is going to be a great game. They've got abilities and everything. Okay, let's fire the missiles. Good, that'll give him something to think about. Firing the missile has cost you action points. You can see the action point display right below your ship and above the progress bar displaying your shields. Right-clicking on any part of the screen will bring up the in-game help. Okay, back to action. Activate your target lock ability. Okay, what's target lock? This ability allows you to easily formulate firing solutions which increases the chance of hitting the enemy. Action point. One point. Okay. So it increases my chance to hit. You have no action points left. Your AP are refreshed every turn. You should end this turn now. To do this, click on end this turn at the top of the window. When you do this, your enemy will start his move and will fire on you. But don't panic. You cannot die during the tutorial. Okay, that's pleasant. So, um, before, here, right there, you can see right there, in the top left corner of the screen, is the little uh, trigger or crosshair icon. And uh, 
that shows that uh, I have active target lock. So that's kind of cool. I, I guess that means my next shot has a higher chance of hitting. So we're going to end the turn. Okay, so it looks like he did the exact same thing, fired a missile and did target lock. Again, it's your turn. Your action points have been refreshed. As you can see, the enemy has fired a missile himself. You should intercept this missile using your ECM, electronic countermeasures. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Nice, it worked. Good, now you should use the rest of your action points to fire your ship guns. There are many different combat abilities in the game offering new attack moves. Every time you are promoted and receive a new rank, you can choose one new combat ability. The mercenary starts off with focus beam, which causes more damage. Click the gunfire icon to shoot a volley of energy beams. Alright. Oh, I think I hit. It said I hit doing 14 damage. You have used up all your action points. Now you can click the end this turn again. Remember, a successful fight depends on the wise use of your abilities and a good selection of equipment. There are many ways to win in Smugglers 5. Try out different paths before you choose your style. Okay, so let's do this. That's it. You've learned the basic combat moves. Now it's up to you to win this fight. Remember that if you move your mouse over a certain part of the screen, a help text comes up. If you right click at any part of the screen, you can get additional help. And now, fire at will, pilot. Okay, let's see what's going on up here. So the minigun. This ship is equipped with a minigun. While activated, this ability reduces your action point cost for firing your gun to one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so he's going to be able to fire at me quite a bit more with the uh, minigun ability. Discipline. Uh, higher chance of hitting. Okay. And target lock also has a higher chance of hitting. So I'm probably going to get hit. On the bright side, you can see here the uh, number of turns until my vis missile hits the enemy. I think I'm going to get that missile hit in. Um, what's my special ability? Engine boosters. Higher maneuverability during combat. When activated, this ability will decrease the enemy's accuracy by 75%. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, let's try that. You activate your ship's special ability. Okay. And we're going to fire. 14 damage, and I guess we're going to do... A, what's an ace? Very high hit chance for gunfire during this turn. Requires and uses up two active abilities. Oh, that's like if it's my final shot. What's scattergun? The scattergun ability allows you to reconfigure your guns to shoot sprayed beams that cause few damage but have a high hit chance and may intercept enemy missiles. Interesting, probably not. Tractor beam. A uh, strong gravitational beam pulls the enemy ship closer and interrupts all enemy attempts to escape. Okay, nobody's trying to escape, so we're just going to target lock again. Just kidding, can't be activated, we're gonna end the turn. Or try to fire. Nope, not enough action points. Oh no, he was able to mislead the missile. And he taunted me, which lowers my... Yeah, lowers my chance to hit. Okay, I guess we're going to see what's active. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so minimize fire. 14 points of damage. Fire. Another 14 points of damage. End the turn. Oh. I don't know what that means. Oh. The electronic of your ship has been jammed due to an enemy EMP pulse. For this turn, you are stunned. Wow! I got stunned! I guess I was hit by, uh, by something on this guy. That's crazy, okay. End the turn. Enemy fires his guns but misses you. Oh, thank god. Four shots and missed, missed every one of them, that's beautiful. Okay, I missed one too, that's not good. There we go, I hit. That's what I like to see. Okay, new missile. I can fire a missile too now. I actually took a little bit of damage, as you can see. Um, okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to try this. Uh, let's let's try the scatter gun. Nice! It's doing some good damage, but I didn't take out the missile, unfortunately. Um, there we go. Target lock. Okay, let's try to take out that missile. Okay, the missile's gone. Uh, do a proper shot. Almost. Okay, we're gonna end the turn now.